This is the Ridiculously Amazing Insurance Agent Podcast hosted by me, Kelly Donahue Pirro. This show is for growing agencies looking to maximize their biggest investment, their people. We mash up our three minute videos from the previous week, all with tips on how to be ridiculously amazing at insurance sales, retention, processes, marketing, running in an agency, and time management. If you want them daily, like us on social media as they're posted but let's get started. Hey everybody, so thanks for hanging out with me while I'm at the Delta Sky Lounge at the Boston airport shooting these videos. If you watched along this week, you'll know that you'll probably see some people behind me if you're watching this. If you're on the podcast, maybe you'll hear a little background noise or a flight call, but uh, I'm shooting this on Labor Day for our launch on Plan and Execute, Building Your Agency's Roadmap to Success, our new e-course, which is all for leadership, strong workbook, so that you guys can all create your best plan ever for your agency. And without further ado, we're gonna dive into four topics of making some decisions on your plan. Last week was all about how are we going to go ahead and get the data that we need, the information that we need to build a plan. Now we're gonna take that data and put it to use. So enjoy these four videos as we go through. We're gonna talk about what is success, your big three, how to celebrate, and the resources that you have at your fingertips. See you soon. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what is success. Um, I hope that you take this video very seriously because I have done this in my own business where success was just the next mountain to climb and I burn people out because of that. But for me, I have an insatiable craving for the next. But I have to realize as a leader, as someone that has you know five people working for them, that you have to have more than that. I have to also show gratitude and stop and say, hey, we hit that mountain and now here's where it's next. That's what a good leader does. And so if you're struggling in this area, listen to this video, not once, not twice. Identify that it's not all about you and that you might need to focus on a few different ways to show everyone how successful they're being. And if they're not successful, what does that look like? If it's not defined, you don't know if you're succeeding or failing. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hey everyone, it's Kelly Downey Pirro here, and I'm actually recording this three minute video from the Boston Logan Airport Delta Sky Lounge because uh, I had to get it done and I ran out of time this morning before taking off. But nonetheless, we are right in the middle of our launch of our newest online course, which is plan and execute how to build your agency success roadmap. And so we're going to break down now a couple of things. Once you last week was all about getting all the pieces together so you could build it. This week is about making decisions. And so we're going to go over defining success, what we call our big three, which is the big three objectives that you want to nail down over the next year how you're gonna celebrate. And I think that that's an important video for you guys to watch. That will be launching on Wednesday. Make sure to check it out because we miss this a lot. And then resource review. So today is all about what is success. And the reason I think you have to be intentional about defining success is this, is that as an agency owner, business owner, leader, a lot of times what comes across your desk is all the problems. So you might go ahead and hit a new personal record, but you're frustrated that this isn't working or that that's not working. And you think about this in relationship to fitness, you might hit a personal record on a run, but not squat what you want to. You still have to celebrate the personal record on the run. And so what we find is because there is no definition of success, it always feels like more, 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 more. And in all reality, you're making progress. You're maybe not at the end goal just yet, but lo and behold, as a business owner, the end goal keeps moving if you're doing it right. And so you have to be intentional about defining success, one for yourself, two for your family because you can burn yourself out pretty easily on the constant pursuit of perfection and additional success and then three also two for your team because if it's just kind of like hey keep cracking the whip we got more to do you have to take a moment and celebrate and so when you define success when you get there it might still feel like there's a whole heck of a lot to do because there is but you've hit your milestone without a milestone without the definition of success you're always going to be burning people out. And that's going to, you know, in an, in an environment where we are, where staffing is very difficult today, you have to make sure that you're defining success. So you have those moments to celebrate and be proud of everybody. So think about that part of our workbook. And this course is different. It's very workbook driven. The workbook is actually over a hundred pages. Don't let it frighten you. There's a lot of free room to write notes down, but we're going to ask you to define success. And we're going to have a video that helps you get there too. So if you're looking to build your plan for next year, do it with us. Don't do it alone. 
We'll see you in the next video, which is all about the big three. The one thing I see insurance agency owners face is that we're in a million different directions and there's all this and there's that. We got this, we got that, we got this, that, that. We're gonna do a book roll, we're gonna do this, that. And it's like, okay, hold on, time out. Maybe we just need to focus on the three things that are gonna make the biggest impact. And then they have to honor those three things. The biggest impact is going to 110% be the thing that we need to focus on. And so if it doesn't fit the biggest impact, we have to make some decisions. But the big three are the things that you're going to invest in. You're gonna put your time into, you're gonna wake up every day thinking about and think about at the end of the day to get you excited for the growth of your agency. So listen to how we outline the big three and why they're so important to your agency. Okay, so now we're, we're on this week's video kick, which is all about you've gotten all your resources together. You've got a lay of the land, you've got numbers, you've put some thoughts down on paper. So now we're gonna go ahead and say, well, what are we actually doing this year? And this is a big one. This is what we call our big three. So I believe firmly that every business should have three major pushes. These are the big, hairy, audacious goals. These are the things you wanna pour all of your energy in. So if you have to make a decision of, can we do it? Does it fit this or does it not? If resources are limited, you always go with what's gonna support the big three. And the big three are your big three major goals for the year. That could be a retention rate, that could be a new business goal, that could be book growth, that could be changing management systems, that could be opening a new location. Whatever it is, these are the things that your attention and resources need to go onto. Now, underneath that, there will be probably tens, if not twenties of decades of smaller goals underneath them, but these are the big three that people can get their head around. Most people can't remember more than three things, so the three that we wanna keep beating the drum to. What are the three things that are gonna make the most impact this year? What are the three things that are worthy of your time and investment? What are the three things that you wanna wake up every day thinking about and put your head on the pillow every night going to bed about? Those are the most important situations that you're going to have. So think about your big three. Now, our workbook for this course is going to help guide you through all of this. You're gonna have information from your team, reports. You're gonna have time to put your own thoughts down on paper. So the big three will probably, if you're taking our course, pop out at you in real time when you're doing it. So we hope that you take advantage of the course. We're in pre-launch mode, which means that it's 50% off on November 1st, it's gonna go back up to full price. So for all those people, maybe one of your big three is not procrastinating, today might be the day. Join me tomorrow for our next video on how you're going to get organized to plan and execute your roadmap to success, where we talk about celebration. I touched upon this in the video, a Monday's video, but we're going to tie this back a little differently tomorrow. I'll see you then. So you may be so sick of me hearing about our new online course for agency leaders, which is plan and execute building your agency's roadmap for success. I'm not sick of seeing it though. So we are right now, October 15th through the 31st, doing it in launch mode. So that means it's 50% off. You can get it for $4.95. You can have it forever. Next year, you can pull it back out. Although we do plan on making it in, in some ad, um, modifications to it every year. So the idea is this, is that you need a roadmap to help you plan. And we have everything from management system reports you should be running with actual guidance on Epic, AMS 360, and Hawksoft. So you don't have to guess anymore. We have whole workbooks. We were going to get your team's feedback. We're going to have a launch party where you tell everybody the meeting. We have it all mapped out for you, so don't go it alone. If you struggle with end of year planning or any planning in general, let us guide you. You can take the workbook out and go step by step by step to get it down path. And if you're like me, love a good end of year plan, I just want to go ahead and say, tell me what to do and I will get thoughts out of my head. And that's what we're doing here. So check it out, 50% off till October 31st. We hope to welcome you as a new student. So celebrate. You might be thinking, of course we're going to celebrate. <laughs> it's so easy to get into the next burning building of the day that you don't always celebrate. And that's where we have the biggest challenge that we have to face. Celebration is important to recognize people. Take a break, regroup, and go where you're going to go next. But if you're just putting out fires all day long, you're going to find that celebration doesn't feel very good. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of celebrating and having it be intentional and having it be documented and having it be proactive. So you don't have to go fluster around all the time. Enjoy how to celebrate in your agency.
All right, for those of you wondering where the heck I am, I am in the Logan Airport in Boston Sky Lounge because I got a little flustered this morning and didn't have time to record before I left. But needless to say, I'm actually recording this on Labor Day. Um, so I needed a little extra puppy time this morning. That's just the way it is. But we're talking all about plan and execute, building your agency's roadmap to success. This is our newest online course where we are focused in on how to build a great plan. It's such perfect timing with it being October and getting ready to do end of year planning. So this is a very workbook driven course. There are videos to support it, but the workbook's over a hundred pages, which is just got a lot of brilliance in it to help you get organized. If you're like me, you can follow a plan, but you don't wanna just be left with a blank sheet of paper. And that's what we did here. And today's topic is celebration. Um, I can't stress this enough. And I do struggle with this too myself, where there's a running in a million different directions. And the, the challenge that we really have when we're running in a million different directions is that we often forget some of the successes we have along the way. You may have hit a goal and not even known it, or because you're so focused on this problem or this thing that's coming up. And that's really why you need to have celebration built in. And it shouldn't be left to chance. I've seen so many agencies that will put an incentive plan into place for the team, but then forget to send it out. Like that's not cool, number one. Number two, you personally should celebrate. Yes, when you're growing and changing, there will be new problems. But if you wanna be a firefighter for the rest of your life, amen, fires will keep happening. You have to be a fire preventer and that's what you're doing by getting your plan together. But you also need to celebrate, celebrate with your family, celebrate with your friends, celebrate with your team. And when celebrations are not built in ahead of time, it can get too chaotic. What we like to do is actually map out our celebrations all year long. And so when we hit this milestone, here's what we're gonna do. When we're off track, here's what we're gonna do. We have, we call it our in case of emergency plan. And the reason I find that to be so critical is that it takes the thinking of it off the plate. Everybody knows, everybody can get excited about it. Um, I often say uh, when this video is released, I'll be coming back off of vacation first one in two years due to COVID. But um, I think part of the fun of vacation for me anyway is it gets you through all the stress and the hysteria of getting ready for vacation and coming back is the idea of thinking about vacation. So it's the idea of I'm going on vacation. I can get through, I'm going on vacation. Um, oddly enough, we're going to Montana. So we just came, we will have just come back from Montana willing. Um, to celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary and then we turn around and go to Hawaii for my 40th birthday. So the whole idea of like, that's what we're doing, there's a very romanticized situation with it. And it's no different than with your team. We're gonna celebrate by doing this, I can't wait. Now, a lot of times you might be thinking, well, I, there's nothing that brings my team together. I'm gonna help you with that too in this course. Uh, it's a very delicate process. The same incentives do not work the same for everybody and that's a challenge. And so that's why we wanna make sure that you get everything kind of in alignment and find the right plan for your team. Anyway, we have to have celebrations. Otherwise, what, what are we doing it for? We're just gonna keep cracking the whip and going to the next you know, mountain to climb, which you will do, but you do deserve a break to celebrate too. Next up, we're gonna talk a little bit about resources. And this is when we see agencies get tripped up on because everyone wants to Google it and find the magic pill. And you may have a lot of resources at your fingertips you're not seeing. So let's go ahead and end this video and we'll see you in the next one. So the next one is a resource review. And I just see agencies all the time looking for the magic pill when they might have a tool, a widget, something in front of them that they can use. Trust me, we sell tools and widgets. So I'm just as you know guilty of marketing to you guys about this. But the reality is you have to have an honest look of what do we need to accomplish one of these big three goals? What do we have? What do we need to invest in? What are we gonna commit to? And that's it. But sometimes you have a tool in front of you that you're just not using. Don't go get another login if you don't have to. But I am going to say this, I do feel as though training is such a thing that we don't do enough of in this space. So we've got all these people out there with all these different values, thoughts, and false beliefs. And we don't do anything to try to work with them on it. And training is going to be the key. Your biggest item on your expenses is payroll. And yet we need to invest in people as much as we can. So think about our online school. Um, we do have this course in there that how to plan and execute. Um, heavy workbook driven course, but all here for you. So we're trying to say, you know what, if our two year program is not a good fit for you, maybe your agency is not quite at that size yet. Maybe it's a little too intense. I get it, but here's the thing. 
all the things that you need are right here in this school. So check it out. And we're offering this course standalone half off until the end of the month. And then you can also subscribe, get all of our trainings for 245. So make your decision. But investing in your team is going to be a critical key to showing the numbers and hitting those goals much easier than before. All right, everyone, it's Thursday, and this is our final video for the week on plan and execute building your agency's roadmap for success. Success. It's in conjunction with our um our course launch, which is all on how to build your plan for next year. We're in pre-launch mode or sorry, we're in launch mode, which means it's 50% off. So $4.95 until the end of October. Crazy not to take advantage of it. Everybody's got to build a plan. You might as well have us help you with it. All in videos and a very, very strong, robust workbook to help you all get on the same page. So one of the things we want to talk about is resources. So if you hit your goal, our Tuesday video is about the big three, the big three things you want to put your energy into, which means you need to do a resource check. Does your team need training? Do you have the tools to do it? Do you have, is there something out there in the insurance universe that can benefit and help get closer to the goal? And a lot of times we need to look what we might already have. I know, I know very difficult. New is always more fun, but I find so many agencies don't know all the tools in their management system, or they don't know some of the features that some of their vendors already have. This is a good opportunity to just everybody out of the pool. What do we have? Why spend a single penny more than you have to? One of the things you're going to learn, um, I think it's probably going to be the next set of videos we do kind of ending out this month of the launch is the eight ways agencies make money. Um, and the eight ways agencies make money. One of them is expense management. And so why go get more things? People in insurance don't need another login. Okay. Um, but what we do need is an intentional opportunity. And I think that both of this goes into widgets and tools such as CRM tools and automation and, you know, campaigns, all that makes it makes a huge difference. The other is team training is how are we going to make your team the most amazing, ridiculously amazing insurance agents and training is a part of that. If you want to boost your cross selling, they need tools, they need training, they need to confront false beliefs and having a consistent organized, dedicated methodology and training is so critical. The more you invest in your team, the better they're going to be and the more they're going to hit their own potential and their own goals. So want to think a little bit about doing a resource review. What do you have? What do you need? What do we need to learn more about? What do we need to investigate before you go buy anything new? The only reason you should buy something new is because it's ready, it's planned, and you have a date for execution. You know how. That is when you sign a contract. You did not do that beforehand. Okay. So I appreciate you guys playing along. Again, our course on plan and execute, building your end of your plan. 50% off till October 31st, then it's going to go up to $9.95. And I anticipate we'll have a lot of people buying it in November or December or my favorite January when everyone's trying to build a plan for the year that's already here, which we shouldn't do. So take advantage of it while you can. We'll see you guys next week. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for keeping me company here as I'm at the, the Logan Airport. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you're starting to see the value of end of year planning and getting ready for next year. We actually talked about not, we, we named it not end of year planning, but plan and execute your agency's roadmap to success this new course we're launching because you don't just have to do it at the end of the year if you wake up in july and you realize you don't have a plan there's nothing that says you can't just go for it now it's a good time to get organized i love the fall for this reason fall is my favorite how my favorite season because you get organized the christmas is coming it's cozy <laughs> sweaters come out and you get to get really well and sharp on what's going on so take a look at our course strongly recommend it half off until october 31st so if you're watching this a little late you're paying full price at 9.95 and you can get it on our online store check it out thanks everybody